Welcome to day 35. Should be well into the swing of things now. Again, review yesterday's notes. Look over the main learning lessons that uh, you need to remember for the exam. Highlight anything you feel is important and also make notes in whatever book you've got. If it's not a printed book, then you should really be keeping your own notes in some format somewhere. Today's about the router booting process and managing iOS files, which is another uh, exam syllabus topic. It's always been in the CCNA really, kind of the new thing really is I iOS licensing. So a lot of people ask, uh, do, do I need iOS 15 because this is what is tested in the exam? I don't really think you do because you, uh, you're only really going to be asked about licensing and I think a couple of commands on, on how the licensing process works. So if um, you're going to struggle to get a license anyway without a contract from Cisco, and if you can get a legitimate copy, uh, it's obviously going to cost a lot of money. So don't really think you need to get hold of a, a router and practice the licensing commands as long as you get hold of them from your study guide and know what they do. Look at the types of router memory. So DRAM, flash memory, CPU, ROM. What is it? What does it do? What, what's the function? Uh, a free lab as well. So do any lab of your choice. I've actually, in my guide, if I just go to it next, I've put a a short lab for iOS. So there's a few things in the CCNA syllabus for you to check for ICND2, what you need to look at. Obviously, like I said, memories, where the buffers are, where the flash goes, where the running config and startup config goes, how to back up your iOS and your configuration commands, how to interrupt a router boot process, how Cisco iOS works, couple of images there, copyright Cisco systems. Make sure you do a quiz of some sort. I've put a lab here just to show version, TFTP server, show flash, that sort of thing, just so you're familiar. Because um, it's easy to skip over these basic commands, thinking we all know them, especially if you don't actually have your own equipment to practice on. So make sure you're just familiar with Cisco memory types, the show version, what it shows you and backing up the router, iOS and your Every uh, startup config also. So that's all for today. I will see you tomorrow.